What's up YouTube? Puppet Master 10,000 here. I want to make a video for you and show you how to get the NES emulator, the regular Nintendo emulator. It's pretty easy and I'm also going to show you how to get SSHing on your phone. Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and start with the uh, NES 3 emulator. What you need to do is have a jailbroken iPhone and for the SSH part, you're going to need Wi-Fi connection. Sorry about that, guys. But that's how it is. All right. For the NES emulator, you're going to need to add a source. So go to Manage Insidia. Go to Sources. And the source you're going to have to have is sinfuliphonerepo.com forward slash. I will have that in uh, more information written out for you in case you can't see it right here but this is the one you need right here and the way you add it is you push edit and add it's very simple once you have that you can go straight to search and search out N E S 3 And this is the one you're going to have. You need to get NES3 cracked or this will not work. So download this. And once you get this downloaded, I want you to get a couple more things in Cydia before we close out of it. I want you to search after that SSH. Not J. <laughs> H. Alright, this is what you're going to need to download for SSH. Automatic SSH. Open SSH and toggle SSH. This one down here. Once you get those, you're set. You can get out of Cydia, respring your device. If you don't know what that is, hold the power button down, power your device totally down, and then power it back up. After you get after you do that, you'll have this little fella right here, the toggle SSH icon. Go ahead and click it. This is just for SSH and enable. All right. And then go over again and you'll have this or it'll be in your next spot, whichever one, your next empty spot. NES, the little mushroom. Click it and it already comes guys with two preloaded games on it. Super Mario Brothers and Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and they do work. So I want to show you how to SSH now since you already downloaded the SSH stuff onto your phone. You're going to go to this website right here onto your computer. You're going to go to winwinscp.net and download the very first one that comes up. Just come down here to download. Click it and you'll get an installer that comes up on your desktop. Go ahead and install it and then you'll get this after you install. It's a little lock with a couple arrows. You can go ahead and double click it. Go into it. You're going to go to new. And right here where it says host name, you're going to put your Wi-Fi address in it, your IP address. And the way you find that, folks, is you go to settings on your iPhone. You go right here to where it says Wi-Fi. Punch it, and you'll see Wi-Fi right here. This is my Wi-Fi. I don't really want to show it, but let's see. Oh, good. Link says came up. Hit the little blue arrow next to it, and right here where it says IP address, your IP address will be. So it'll be something like 192.101.1.302.0. Something like that is what it's going to look like when you type it in right there. Right here under username, it's always going to be root, R-O-O-T, and your password is always going to be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. You're going to save this, and then right here, just put a description of what device you're using, so that way you know what it is. I'm just going to put PUPS 3G IP, that way I know it's my iPhone. I'll save my password so I don't have to type it in every time and push OK. OK. 
here it is pups 3g iphone that's not my wi-fi i'm not going to use that so i'm just going to delete it and i'm going to show you how to use it a little bit i'm going to show you at least how to get into it just double click on your connection make sure your what your your iphone is turned on and connected to wi-fi and then it'll come to this page right here this is where you do all your sshing from it's a very cool site what I'm going to do now, I'm not really going to go in depth on how to use the SSH tool, but I mean, you can do a lot. Look, you can backspace, come down to mobile, come down to media, and look, under where it says ROMs, that's where your Nintendo ROM emulator is going to be. Double click it, and here it is, NES. And you can double click it again, and it'll show you what games you have in it. Uh, later on today or tomorrow I'm gonna make another video and have a couple of links in the description to show you where you can actually get the ROMs at and download them to your desktop and then I'll show you exactly how to SSH them into SSH them into your uh, your phone but for now that's all I've got for you guys this is Puppet Master 10,000 remember rate comment subscribe and I'll catch you later